Welcome back. We're still in... Where's this? Helheim? Helheim. Yes. And... I guess we're going to head back home. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. Yeah. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Looks like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was in there. I see. <clears throat> hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. Come here. Ah, there's the river. Oh good, no monsters. You're back. How did it go? The beast should trouble us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything. Is this mask? Anyone recognize it? That thing? Oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. <laughs> You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Oh. <clears throat> Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. Yes. This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. study my notes on the mask see if I can think of a plan but if you want to go anywhere I'm with you and listen everyone I'm really sorry about the way I left you know I've never hurt any of you on purpose well you hear that turn into a bear by accident <coughs> I suppose these things can happen yeah so, do you forgive me of course Atreus we know you meant no harm lad his beard's going through the table. I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, 
I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Right, you can't kill dead things? A shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tia. See? No, go into the beard. Or go to the might. table. Right, let's see if we can level up any. Let me upgrade our axe for you. Okay. That's it. Let's do that. All right. Hey, wait. We're going off you. main mission. I'm gonna go look for more cool shit. That's not the one I want. End guard. There it is. We need to go there. So let's go here. Amir, what else do you know of the mask? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Agia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. All right. Score. Let's go, boy. <clears throat> the mirror. Odin's mask. How did he hear about it in the first place? He said a voice spoke to him one night, entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate. I still think it's all a bunch of bollocks. Odin got drunk, convinced himself a wooden mask would solve. I'm looking for the giant jellyfish. And pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill. Mask probably doesn't do anything at all. Yeah. I already got probably. it. There, it's a Coming giant jellyfish. About the Heath Witches. They fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to king. <laughs> they dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass. So when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. Wait, let us look this way. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. There's another storm out that way. I think that nice. means... Another half goofa. That's why we're going there. Megan. Megan. <laughs> Damn, I think I was a lizard. So. Once we free both half goofas and end all the storms, then what? Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half goofa. The scars of conflict are woven into the very fabric of the realm. I have to believe in the long run we're doing right by Alfheim. Mm -hmm. But, well, what's your father always saying in this situation? Keep your expectations low and you'll never be disappointed. His wise words. Yeah, it is his words. The forbidden sand. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. We gotta find the right cave. 
What was that? Why does this look like this? Another one. Bird. Oh, I got your ass. That's a fair few bugs you've hunted. Thank you. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. No. Maybe this is where we come out. Glad we're doing this. The sandstorm just feels wrong for Alpha. Aye. Hearing the, the song of the sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Now, once we free this other half goofa, it'll be a duet. Half goofa. What is this place? It doesn't look like a dark elf cave. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. Or I bet as well. I'd say we're on the right track then. Open door. <laughs> Nothing? What you got? That's new. Some of this hive stuff doesn't like sound. Where you at, kid? The mirror. The last time we were in Alpine, my stuff was all over the realm. It looked unnatural. Like it was choking the life out of everything. Even the light itself. It looked that way because you're not from this realm, lad. 
To the Dark Elves, a hive is more natural than that coatless, lily-white column in the center of the well. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half-gifer, for that matter. You have a point. I'd like to believe I always do. Oh my god. Ah. I'm just curious. No. How do you get over there? This hive looks thick. Too thick to cut even. There's more twilight spawn on the ground. Maybe we can use it. Why that works, but I'm glad Me it neither. does. Is there a bad guys? Stop up! Hold up! The wee bastard's about to explode! More of them? Down. There a nest? There is a nest. What is that? Stop that shit. Light elves? Doing with those toads. Impressive. What are the light elves doing down here? I don't know. Dark elf territory. 
Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim. Also, it appears. Big Deer did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Oops. What does it say? I suspect the corpse below would disagree. Didn't say shit. No sacrifice in vain. A corpse lay below this one. I wonder if the poor soul wrote it before it expired, or if it was written by the fiend who caused said expiration. This way. Stupid. Whatever. Continue, shall we? No sweat. I feel like I'm missing something every time I go here. Or do stuff like that and not go here. Two half goofers free. Are they gonna be able to uh, make more? Almost certainly. A better sweet spectacle, considering the cost. Well, we haven't freed two yet. The adults like these. Hold on. Are you saying they have to die to have kids? They don't have to. But the more light they give, the higher the chance of their offspring's survival. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's. Wow. Deep. It is what parents do. Really? All parents are supposed to die for their children? It is what I would do. Alright. We're here. Come on. 
Kind of here. There we go. There he is. Well, here it is. That's a big fella. You don't seem particularly happy about the life. We're freeing them only for them to die. It doesn't seem fair. Life seldom is. But their sacrifice will allow their children to thrive. So they will die contented. Hmm. Hadn't thought about it like that. I just. If I were one of the children, I wouldn't want them to. I know so. It is the only choice they can make. Nice. That loosened it up a bit. You're right. Now what? Gotcha. That's all we can do from down here. Hi. Back to the surface then. Um. Which way is that? Oh. How nice of this to open up. on me. Oh, your blades are a great tool for detonating smoke clouds once they blast areas, especially your whiplash attack. Oh, I didn't know that. Use my blades against that guy. Sorry, purple. A what? It's a uh, for relaxation. Yep. The ceremonial pipe given Freya's temperament, one can imagine they saw a great deal of use. Not that I blame him. It's said that some of the Alfheim's flora was particularly well suited for recreation. Just one more thing filmed below winter took from the realm. I suppose a shame too. I was rather interested to learn whether or not my current body bodily situation will allow me to reap any hallucinogenic benefits from Alfheim's herbs. Kratos wants to get high. Burn the leaves and breathe the smoke. Oh, can I use it? No. No. Chest. The fate of these 
creatures. It reminds me of a story. Yeah? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold it to power. So the blacksmith used the flame. Mother, please. It's okay. What is okay? You don't have to. Look, I know I get sad about this kind of stuff, but it doesn't mean I won't be okay, you know? Yes. So, what happened with the blacksmith? thought that was the key to unlock his box. He died, trying to protect her from those who would open it. You're not gonna have to do that for me. I know. But I don't know, a Pandora's would. box? Where's that one chest at? We've overstayed our welcome. Oh, shit. What? Come on. Let's go cut it free. I thought we already cut it free. Up here. Look, they're coming together. Get 
electricity. It's beautiful. It is. Thanks, Father. For doing no all problem. This. I know it doesn't Anytime. solve everything, but it feels like we helped. Yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? Who's that? Is that Freyr? Indeed it is. Wow. Big statue. Oh, that's what uh, Freyr's brother. That's odd. The runes are dark. Why would the elves build a giant statue of Freyr? Didn't they just go back to fighting each other after he left? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together. Light and dark. Which Whoa. means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace. But perhaps it served as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. Are you shut up? you may have survived Freya's absence. But a true queen should not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. Couldn't he have just, I don't know, cast a spell or something? Made things better permanently? There wasn't a spell or enchantment to leave behind. Freya's presence is what mattered. His very godhood is what brought life back to this dying land. Eventually, he had to choose Vanaheim or Alfheim. Doesn't sound like a tough choice. Vanaheim was his home. It's never easy to walk away from those who need you. Oh, there's a thing there. These monuments are useless. Why are you trying to fix this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. All right. Trying to remember these from last time. Um. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Wrong way. Uh -huh. Can't put it there. What does it do here? There's already light inside these crystals. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. Oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Did that one? Well, that's okay. Oh, 
looks like we can read the inscription now as well. Yeah. What is this? Light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freya's gift endures after all. Or should I say... We broke the storm, runic summon. You are not funny. Oh. What does it say? Anything illuminating. The enlightened one. In honor of the enlightened one, may his gift shine internal. May his light serve as a beacon of harmony. May peace endure among the elves as we forever bask in its radiant glow. Alright. Is that it for here? Not for here, but this part, I guess. All right, let's head out. Wrong with shit. Father, do you think there will ever be peace in Alphon? Peace is difficult after centuries of conflict. It must be found in its own time, from within. Where can she get on? Be forced. Where the? But mom helped you find peace. Do you see him run all the way around? Change if no one shows him the way. Your mother. She trusted me. Gave me the space to find my own way. But you are right, Atreus. She was my guide. Our actions in Alphard may not bring peace. But by ending the storm and bringing light back to this land, perhaps we have planted the seeds. Couldn't have said it better myself. Sounds like I'm rubbing off on you, brother. Shit! Father! Watch the oar! Mother! It's not that big. Wait. What is this? Yeah, that's what I figured. It requires two keys. Of course it does. I wonder what's behind it. That's the beauty of a locked door. It could be anything. Monsters, treasure. Knowing our luck, it'll be a bit of both. Shit. A token. Looks like Freya's carved into it. Maybe it's for good. Token, a token depicting Freya's likeness. Uh, crafted by for those elves who supported the young god and attempts to find peace. Or Freyers, not Freyers. At the height of Freyers' popularity, these tokens adorned with elvish homes, then they did not. They represented the one thing which is invaluable in small doses, outright deadly in large ones. Lock. Go for you, um. Don't be hard. Help them. 
No, there's two of them. Jeez, where did my health go? Get him, get him, boy. Shit. Almost got me. Almost. What do we get? Dust of realm. Meet. Oh, I thought it'd be a key. Okay, we have a key. Some bitch. Oh, look at the little baby jellyfishes. This one here, I th think uh, we'll pick up and continue exploring the rest of Elfheim. Maybe level up some stuff. We'll see. But until next time, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Hey, I'll check you later. Peace. Between me and tears.